إن قتلهم كان خطأ okay, كبيرا truly their killing is a terrible big mistake you know fine brothers and sisters so kana ismu kana is mustatir where is khabar kana khit'an kabiran istinaat fine next i have brothers and sisters yaj'aluna asabiahum what is the meaning of asabia fingers what is the singular isbaun huh? what is the singular A finger. Uh, that is your jama. Huh? Plural. Singular. Fiyazanihim. Huh? They put their Fingers in their ears. Mena sawaiki. What is sawaiki? Huh? Thunder. Lightning bolt. Huh? What is the singular? So the translation is by Jaja Yaj Aluna Asabiahum Yaj Aluna Asabiahum Fiya Zanihim Minas Sabaiki. They put their fingers in their ears huh? from the the lightning and the sound of thunder. Huh? Why? Fearing death. Hazar al So Hazara is Mansu. It is your Al Mafulu li Ajlihi wa huwa Mudaf and then Mudaf. Got the idea? Fine. Another beautiful verse of the Quran. See, brothers and sisters, when we, you understand it directly, there's a sweetness and a beauty. Which you cannot describe. You only have to feel it in your heart. If you eat a very delicious fruit, eh? or if you eat a very delicious biryani, eh? are you with me? Okay. Or you eat a very delicious mithai, sweet. You feel it, you can never express it. You know, the way you feel it. You will try to express it, but that does not really satisfy the way you felt it. Okay. So same is with Quran, brothers and sisters. You feel it in your heart. Tatajafa. What is Tatajafa? Form six. Is it Madi Mudarya? Mudarya. What is the Madi? Tajafa. What is the meaning of Tajafa? To abandon. To give up, to turn away from, <clears throat> to shun. Are you with me? To avoid. Tatajafa junubuhum. What is junubuhum? Sight. Huh? More than that, what is it here? It is the file. Huh? You can see it is marfu. It is the file. Hum mudafilehi. Anil. Madaji. Huh? This is again plural, brothers and sisters. So what is the singular? Madjau. What is it? Madjau. Huh? What is the meaning of Madjau? Uh, C 
sleeping place, resting place, or you can say, brother and sister, couch, bed, because these are all your sleeping place and resting place. Eh? Now translate, brothers and sisters. They are sides. Uh, avoid. Uh, turn it away from or abandon sleeping places. Why? Okay. The reason is Yadauna Rabbahum. They do not sleep. They are sides. They give up the beds uh, and they are praying to their Lord. Yadauna Rabbahum. They are praying to their Lord. Why are they praying? Kaufan. And the next one, Wa Tama'an. Kaufan, Wa Tama'an. Kaufan is fear. What is Tama'an? Seeking. Seeking, desiring. One more word. Tama'an, craving. Yada'una huh? Rabbahum. They pray to their Lord, fearing and craving, seeking, desiring. Wa razakanahum yunfikuna. And whatever we provide from that, they spend a little bit in the path of Allah. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now when you will read this verse, it will have a special meaning for you, brothers and sisters. Ya yuhalladzina amanu la tubtilu What kind of a lie is this? La nahiya. Tubtilu. No, this is majizum. Biyad finun. What is the madi? Abutala. What is the madi? Abtala, huh? to cancel, to abolish, to annul. Huh? Do not cancel your charity. La tubtilu. Wow is your file. Means antum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing all of us. Sadaqatikum. Your charities. Bilmanni. What is it brothers and sisters? Manna. Ya munno. To remind someone of a favor that you did to him or her. Huh? Meaning of manna is to remind someone of a favor that you did. Huh? If you do a favor to somebody, this should be for the for the love of Allah. If you help somebody, it should be for the love of Allah. But if you remind him that you did a favor, then that charity is cancelled. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, La tubtilu sadakatikum bil manni wal aza. What is the meaning of aza? Harm. Harm. Kallazi. La tubtilu sadakatikum bil manni wal aza. Do not cancel your charities by reminding others. Okay. Or by harm. Okay. Kallazi, like the one Yunfiku, he spends his. Uh, Wealth, Yunfiku Malahu, he spends his wealth. For what reason? 
they are nasi to show off to the people. Huh? Riya and nasi. Brother and sister, what is this riya? How? Mafurun li ajlihi. How is it? How was it made? Huh? We've got to do it now. Okay? I'll do it here, brother. What is this, brothers and sisters? Ra'a. What is mudarya? Ya Ra'a. Okay. And what is this, brothers and sisters? Ara. Are you with me? What is mudarya? Yuri. What is this form one? What is this form four? Now I am writing something else. What did I write? Ra. What form is this? Form three. Huh? Form three. Ra. How will I make mudarya? Yura e. How do you make master? Fi alun. Fi alun. So it will become Got the idea? See how the master was made? Sister Naima Ra'a form three. Huh? Okay, which is fa'ala. Huh? Ra'a. Fa'ala. Yura'i. No, ra'a is to show off. Huh? You do not, you know, believe in that, but you are doing something to show off. Means it's a hypocrisy. Huh? You are praying, huh? Not because you love Allah, not because you fear Akhirah. You just want to show people that you are a very pious man. So you are deceiving. You spend money to show off that I am a very charitable person. But you don't believe in Allah and you don't believe in Yom al Akhirah. Because if there is an opportunity, you will make money by deceiving others. Okay? So here it is. Yunfiku ma'alahu, he spends his wealth, riya'an nasi, to show off to the people. Wala yu'minu billahi, and he does not believe in Allah, wal yawmil akhir. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So what was our interest here? Riya'a, mansu. What is that, brothers and sisters? Al-mafulu li'ajli. That's it, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Yadukhulu al-muraqibu, Mahu Zuhair. The supervisor enters and with him is Zuhair. Al Murakibu Bada Tahiyati after salutation. Yakulu Zuhair. Zuhair says, In Naka Manatahu Minat Duhuli. In Naka Manatahu Minat Duhuli. Translation, brother. What is the verb? Mana'a, to prevent somebody. Huh? To disallow somebody. Okay? You have disallowed him from entering. Huh? Are you with me? You have disallowed him from entering. Huh? Zohar says that you have disallowed him from entering. Mudaris replies, In nama. Manatuhu, I disallowed him. For what reason? Ta'adiman. What is the meaning of ta'adiman? For discipline. Disciplinary action. Huh? To just chastise someone. Huh? I only disallowed him for disciplinary action. 
Okay. What is the verb, brothers and sisters? Addaba, you addibu. Now, addaba, you addibu has other meaning also. When you say addaba, also it means to educate, to cultivate, to refine, to polish. But at the same time, addaba means to discipline, to punish, to chastise. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So here, tadiban means to discipline, eh? for disciplinary action. Fakad, eh? fakad, fa is hafuat, fakad is tahkik, asbaha ta'akhuru, what is ta'akhuru? Form five, what is it? Master, abassum, eh? lateness, lateness has become, asbaha is the sister of kana, so lateness has become, Dabahu vadaidanahu. Now this is a very big word. What is the meaning? Meaning is very simple. The lateness has become his habit. Dabahu vadaidanahu means habit. What is the translation of that? Brother? Adat, al adat, habit. Okay, Allah has come, brothers and sisters. We got to figure out: is it urging or is it disapproval? Allah, tashkuhu ilal mudi. Should I say, should have or you should? You should. Uh, because it is mudariya. You should complain to the mudir about him. Huh? So this is here urging, tahdeed. Got the idea? Everybody? Inshallah. Huh? It is tahdeed here. So the muraqib said, you should have halla tashkuhu elal mudiri. Mudaris says, innama asbiru alayhi I am patient with him. Huh? I am patient with him. For what reason? Kastal Islahi. Brother, Islahi. Tell me what is this? It is Master. From where? Aslah Yuslihu. To reform, to make something good. Are you with me? So, Islah is reformation. Hmm? Correction, improvement. Kasta huh? is to aim for that. Huh? Okay, to aim. You have an intention of reforming him. Huh? I am patient with him huh? with the hope of reformation, improving. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I am patient with him with the aim of Reforming or correcting or improving. Asa Allahu an yusliyahu. Asa Allahu an yuslihahu. May Allah, may Allah uh, make him saleh. May Allah make him saleh. You know, make him better. Okay, brothers and sisters. <coughs> Inshallah, you understood the main lesson. How did you find it? Easy, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, the whole book three is easy. I'm telling you, with all my sincerity, it's all easy. Some, some of you may not agree with me. And I do not blame you if you don't agree with me. But the reason for your disagreeing with me, it is not that it is difficult, but it is overwhelming. The concepts are so many coming one after another. So sometimes we are daunted that, you know, it's too much. Huh? I agree with you, it is too much. But it is not difficult. But it is not difficult. It's all very easy. Huh? Inshallah, you'll make the notes and you'll revise it. And I assure you, after a couple of revision, you will find that you love book three.
I love book three, brothers and sisters, because the concepts are so beautiful. Huh? And they, these concepts will enable you to understand Quran. Okay, so inshallah, uh, just keep on working hard, have faith in Allah, trust in Allah, pray to Allah to give us mental ability and wisdom and strong memory to understand the uh, co concepts of the Arabic language inshallah. Once again, book three is not difficult, it's easy, okay, <laughs> inshallah. Now we come to, I'm skipping the question answers. So I, inshallah you'll do it at home. Hadartu hubban lin nahwi. Brother, we already read the key in English. We are just reading the same thing now in Arabic. Hadartu hubban lin nahwi. Huna hubbun mafulun lahu. Or you can say, what else can you say? Al mafulun li ajilhi. Same thing, brother, same thing. Al-Mafoolun lahu, Al-Mafoolu lahu, Aw, Al-Mafoolu li ajlihi. Mastarun, what is it? It's the master. Yudhkaru, it is mentioned, Li bayani sababil fi'al. For the reason of action. Nah. Wala taktulu awladakum khashyata. We read this all, brothers and sisters. Now, we can go back to the lesson and figure out all those al mafulu lahu. But I think we did point it out when we are studying and you were able to figure out. That is your number three. Istakhrij minad darsi. That was number three. Now, brothers and sisters, number four. These exercises are all very beautiful, very interesting. I should call it halwa puris. Huh? All you have to do is, brothers and sisters, are you looking at me? You got to write it. When you will write it, you will become strong. If you won't write it, that strength of mind and understanding will be weak. So write as much as you can, inshallah. أَيْجِنَ الْمَفْعُولَ لَلَهُ فِي كُلِّ مِثَالٍ مِمَّا يَعْتِي Fine. Very beautiful verse of the Qur'an. See, all the examples are coming from the Qur'an. It was not so in book one or book two, but more so in book three. قَالَ تَعَالَى وَمِنَ النَّاسِ From the mankind, some. From the mankind, some. You know this min, huh? Wa minan nasi may yashri nafsahu. Brothers and sisters, yashri. What is yashri? What is madi? Shara yashri. Shara yashri. What is the meaning of shara yashri? It has two meanings, to buy as well as sell. Here, the meaning is Sell, okay. Woman and Nasi, one who sells himself. Brothers and sisters, we don't sell ourselves, okay. The, what is the meaning of it? Huh? One who devotes his life. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? He has no other uh, craving except for one thing he wants to spend his life, his time, for what? Doing good deeds. For what reason he's doing that good deeds? Ibtiga. Mansub, brothers and sisters. Ibtiga. Got the ideas, brothers and sisters? Here, one can say, instead of buying and selling, one who gives his life. Are you with me? One who gives his life, okay? What is the reason for doing that? What is the meaning of iftiga and what, where is it coming from? From eight, <laughs> mashallah. What is the verb? Iftiga 
Yabtaghi. See, it's so easy. Alhamdulillah. Ibtigha. What is the meaning of Ibtigha, brothers and sisters? The meaning of Ibtigha is to seek, to crave, hmm? to wish, to desire, to want, to aspire. Huh? This is the meaning of Ibtigha. Yabtaghi. Huh? And Ibtigha is seeking, aspiring, Craving after, craving after what? Mardati. Now Mardati is mudafilihi. What is it? Mudafilihi. Got the idea? Because ibtiga'a is your mafulu liyanjilihi. And then it is mudaf, mardati. What is, what is mardati? The pleasure. Allah of Allah, mashallah, mashallah. She's such a beautiful verse, brothers and sisters. Such a meaningful verse. Huh? Okay, what is this mardati? Where has this come from? Huh? Master Mimi, mashallah. See, now you are getting. Huh? Yesterday you studied Master Mimi for the first time. Now you are able to identify it now. Isn't it beautiful, brothers and sisters? In all our lives, before, we did not know what was Master Mimi. And it is thanks to the Madina books. And thanks to Dr. Abdurrahim. Now we are learning all these things. Brother, what is the verb? Huh? Radhiya. Huh? Huh? Radhiya. It has got many masters. Uh, and one of the master Mimi is so this is your master Mimi now translate brothers and sisters from the mankind there are some there is one who gives his life Seeking the pleasure of Allah. That, that is our aim. Nothing else. Huh? We don't seek Jannah. We seek the pleasure of Allah. Because if the pleasure of Allah is there, then everything is there. Are you with me? If Allah is pleased with us, we have everything, brother. Whatever you want. Huh? The first and primary object of our life is that we do everything for the pleasure of Allah only, nobody else. Next one, brothers and sisters, usadiku. What kind of a verb is this? Not majhul. Form three. It's modarya. Sadaka. Yusadiku. What is the meaning of sadaka? To befriend somebody, to become friendly. Hmm? So to associate with someone. Usadiku zamili. Haza. What is haza here? Naat. What is it? Naat. Okay. I befriend my colleague, my this colleague. I am friendly with my colleague. For what reason? Dafan li dararihi. Uh, uh, in order to repel his harm. If I am not friendly with him, he may harm me. Are you with me? So I am friendly with him for the reason to repel, uh, to remove his harm. Dafa'an, uh, to repel his harm. Okay, brother. The whole thing is to repel his harm. It's quite possible, we have seen in the world, brothers and sisters, uh, sometimes we don't like somebody, but we are still, we are still friendly to them. Because otherwise they can cause problems. They may harm us, you know. Next one, brothers and sisters, number three. So that one was our al-mafulu li ajilihi. Atgada an hafavati asdikai. Okay. What is this atgada? Mudaria. What form is this? 
Psalm 6, huh? Tagada ya tagada. What is the meaning of tagada? To overlook. Huh? To disregard. Huh? To overlook, to disregard. Atagada huh? an hafawati. Brother, what is hafawati? It is jama. Huh? What is the singular? Hafwatun. What is the singular, brothers and sisters? What is the meaning of it? You know, small errors. Or, you know, small mistakes. Now translate, brother and sister, at the Gada. How will you translate at the Gada? I overlook. I disregard. What do you disregard? An hafawati astikai. I disregard the small mistakes of my friends. Huh? Why? I am disregarding it. This is also very common in our daily life, brother and sisters. Istib ka'an. Istib Ka'an. Istib ka'an. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is the meaning of this? First, tell me the verb. It's from Tim. Istabka. What is the root? Bakiya. To, to stay. So, istib ka'an means for staying. Okay. Li. Mawaddatihim. So that their love remains. Okay? Their affection remains. If you criticize all the time, then that love and affection can disappear. But if you disregard uh, the mistakes of your friends, this is what happens in our daily lives, brothers and sisters. Huh? So, uh, I disregard small mistakes of my friends. Huh? For what reason? For remaining the stain of their love. What is the verb, brother? Mavaddat. Huh? This is Master Mimi. Again, Master Mimi. One after another, you are getting Master Mimi. Mimi and Alhamdulillah you are recognizing me. What is the Mahdi of this word? Very important word, brother. Wadda. Wadda. What is Mudariya? Ya Waddu. What is the master, actual master? Wuddun. What is it? Wuddun. That is the actual master. And then we have the Mawaddatun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? So what is the meaning of Wadda? Very beautiful meaning. What is the meaning of Wadda? Ahabba. Huh? That is the meaning. Ahabba. And Wadda means same thing. I like, I love. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. You got it, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Next one. Nahan Nabiyu. We already did that, but we'll do one more time. And Yusahafira bil Quran ila ardil adumi makhafata. That is your al mafulu yajlihi and yanalahu adumu. So we have already done it, okay? The Prophet وسلم, prohibited Muslims to travel with Quran to the enemy land, fearing that the enemy will harm it. You know, fine, brother and sister. Amama kulli jumlatin mimma yati ismun. Ijalhu mafulan lahu wa akmil bihi al jumlata wa dbithu bishakli. Now complete the sentence, brothers and sisters. 
and give the proper vowel signs at the end. Hmm? What is the word that is there in front of the sentence? Kaufen. Now we got to use that. Okay. We have to make it into al mafulu lahu. Lam akhruj min al baiti. What will you say? Kaufen. Kaufen min al har. Oh, how is the translation? I did not go out of the house fearing heat. Fearing the heat. Got the idea? What was your reason of not going out of the house? The fear of heat. Huh? Fine then. Okay. Il tahaktu bil jamiyati islamiyati. I joined the university. Islamic University of Medina Munawwara. Why did you join it? Raghavatan. For the love of Fi Ulumid Deen. For the love of the sciences of religion. Ulumid Deen means, brothers and sisters, the different sciences of religion. Means different subjects of religion. You know, you have a hadith and you have fiqh. And you have Quran. So these are all different sciences of religion, brothers and sisters. Lam akra'i. Lam akra'il jarasa. What is the word, brothers and sisters? Kara'a. Kara'a is to ring. Huh? What is kara means to sound or to ring. Huh? If I write down the sentence... Translate, brother. Kara al Jarasa. He rang the bell. What is it? He rang the bell. The bell rang will be, sister Manas, Ran al Jarasu. What is it? Ran al Jarasu. The bell rang. But here, Kara al and Ran al Jarsu is intransitive. The bell rang. Khalas. Here he rang. Rang what? The bell. Huh? So, Lam Akra'i. I did not ring the bell. Lam Akra'i Jarasa. Oh, 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 what is it, brothers and sisters? Makhafata. Fearing. Uh, what is the. Now, this is your Mafulu. And this is your mudaf. Where is your mudaf, Vilehi? Master Mohal. Master Mohal. Yastai kida maridu. Now translate, brother. With the fearing, the waking up of the patient. Okay, the patient would have woke up. Fine, brother and sister. Now, ijlalan. What is the meaning of ijlalan? Ihtiram. Respect. Okay. Honor, respect, reverence. Huh? It's very common in uh, uh, Middle East and in and in, uh, in India, Pakistan, brothers and sisters. I'm sure in Bangladesh, everywhere, when the teacher enters the class, the students get up, and then the teacher will say, "Sit down." Okay, and then they will sit. Huh? Why are they doing that? For the respect. Huh? Okay. So, kumtu, I stood up. Why did you stand up? Ejlalan. Lil mudaris. Translation, brother. I stood up. In respect for the mudaris. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Here is another word, brother. Bugiyatun. What is the meaning of Bugiyatun? For the purpose of. With the aim of. With a view to. You can also say in an effort to, in order to. All these things are there in Bugiyata. Next word, brother, what is that? Ittila'i. What is the verb? 
Ittala, form eight. Huh, brother? Form eight. Tala is the root. And then the ta of that uh, form eight change into ta. Remember? Are you with me? Huh? So verb is Tala. From there we make it into it. Tala. Got the idea? I'm putting ta there. Now I'm changing that ta to and that will change into Did you get the idea? Huh? I'm sure you are familiar. Again, if you do the conjugation, you will become strong. You got to do the conjugation also from time to time. Hmm? What is the meaning of ittala? To familiarize oneself. To know. To learn. To know. Especially to know. Hmm? 